Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at So Magic Inspirations. Thank you for joining me today. I very much appreciate your support. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for supporting my channel, especially in the few months that I wasn't able to produce any readings. And um, I just want to say a big thank you. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my videos. There are playlists now that you can check out particular types of readings so there's all sorts of readings on here and if you feel guided you know please like share subscribe the channel um, it really does help my channel grow so I appreciate any support if you feel guided leave me a comment if there's any future readings you'd like to see again just leave me a comment down below so we have a new moon on the 1st of February which is in Aquarius so I just wanted to do a new moon reading for everybody so it's a pick a pile so venus has now going forward and it's going to be trying uranus so it's an exciting time for new romance or if you're already in a romance it will it's a good time to spice up the relationship there could be financial surprises as well extra money coming in for some of you it's a time for new beginnings to get into emotional balance but be flexible, be open-minded and brave and tap into your higher self-awareness. On the 2nd of February is a portal and we have Mercury going direct on the 3rd. And on the 22nd of February is a very special portal, the 22222 portal, which I will be doing, obviously I'm reading about that nearer the time, a very special energy there. And... Um, yeah, so we're going to tap into the energies. So the first pile, just choose on the cards. We've got the Wisdom Oracle. Pile 2, the Moon Goddess Oracle. And Pile 3 is the Oracle of the Seven Energies. So pick your cards and we'll get your messages. Hello Pile 1, welcome to your messages. So let's have a look how all these changes astrologically and the New Moon energy in Aquarius is going to affect you. Okay, so let's have a look. We have chop wood. So this is the wisdom oracle. Observer. To the sea. Let's just adjust that. It's getting a bit closer. No place like no peace like home. Time for a nap. Change in the wind. Time to go, mending, and regeneration. So definitely for some of you here, there could be uh, sort of reconciliation, reconciliation energies here. And we've got chop wood. To me, that's like spending time focusing on what it is you want for yourself, building a foundation. An observer there... You know, you or another person could have been watching each other online. And we have To the Sea. So this very much reminds me of that um, Six of Swords energy where you're moving away from the past into Karma Waters. It could also um, signify some sort of travel for some of you overseas. We've got no peace like home. So I feel that you've really been working hard on trying to find that peace in your home. You know, or finding that peace within yourself. And we have time for a nap. So, you know, don't forget to recharge and rest. You know, really take that time out for yourself when you need it. Listen to your body. And a change in the wind. So there's changes ahead here. And time to go. So, you know, again, it's time to get moving. It's time to move forward in your life after having that rest. And we've got mending. So that, you know, talks about mending bridges, doesn't it? Maybe mending a connection and regeneration, which is, again, like, you know, bringing to life something that maybe was once dead. So we're going to clarify these with the tarot. So let's have a look. Chop wood, why is that here? Chop wood, why is that here? Chop wood, what's that about? So, funnily enough, we have the moon energy. <laughs> so, you know, we're talking about that moon energy. So, 
again there could be some things hidden from you right now okay and it could be coming to light around the time of the moon um but it's the light of the moon is is more subtle it's not as bright as the sunlight so there could be some shadows that may be some things that you've not looked at, at into some hidden things that could come to light why is the moon here seven of swords so that can be talking about um you know lies deception trickery so something could be coming to light okay that you was not aware of okay some something could come to light where somebody was misleading you maybe um you know something you wasn't aware of i mean it could have been deliberate or it was just something you were not aware of something hidden so why is the seven of swords there i hate getting that card actually we've got the three of wands energy so that is that waiting energy. So I do feel maybe you've been waiting for some sort of explanation here. Okay, you're waiting for things to change. And we've got that observer energy. We've got three of swords. So it does to me look like there's been heartbreak here for some of you. And you could be observing the other person. You could be observing each other. You know, maybe keeping an eye on each other's social media. Um, sometimes it's hard to let go of people that we love. Even if they do hurt us. Why is the Three of Swords there? We have King of Wands energy. So this could be your energy. Or this could be a person you're connecting with. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That is that fire energy. That is that passionate energy. That driven energy. You know, maybe this was a lustful connection. And, you know, it didn't get into that emotional connection. It was just a lustful connection. But we have the high priest energy here. Okay, that is Hierophant energy. So maybe the person did actually want a commitment, but they didn't tell you this. It could be something like that with that Seven of Swords energy there. So then we got to the sea. So we've got some travel coming up here for some of you. Or this could be just moving away from the past. Okay, we saw that. You're moving away, fresh starts, could be travel as I say for some of you. We've got the Emperor energy here. So that's the Divine Masculine energy. So this could be, you know, either you in that energy or a person who may be coming to see you. Maybe they're coming from across the sea. Maybe you live in different parts of the world. There could be some travel involved. It doesn't have to be the sea. But this person could be reaching out to you. What's the emperor there? Hangman energy. So, you know, maybe this person has started to see things from a different perspective now. Okay, so why is the hangman there? Yeah, we've got the death card. So it looks to me like they want a new beginning here because the death card is about transformation, going from one cycle to another cycle, a new beginning. So it does look like they very much want a new beginning. And you're in this peaceful energy in your home here. You're feeling at peace within your own home. So what's that about? We've got Queen of Swords energy. So this could be you. That's our sun energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But you could be in that energy. Somebody's defensive on their guard. Maybe harsh words were exp expressed. Um, so you're wanting that peace, you're, you're wanting that inner peace, you don't want arguments, you don't want, um, you know, upsets in your life, you're wanting that inner peace, you don't want somebody that's going to bring you down, and we've got justice here, so you, you know, you want justice, you want justice for yourself, you, you know what you're worthy of, you know what you're deserving of, and you're not going to settle for less, and then we have time for a nap there, five of pentacles, so that is that energy of feeling left out in the cold. You know, we had that three of swords energy. There's been a separation here and, you know, no contact, no communication. And it was time for you to be alone, to rest, recuperate, recharge, to get into that energy of self-care. But there's a change coming in here with a change in the wind here. So there's definitely a change ahead. What's this about? We have two of pentacles, so there could be a choice ahead for you to make here. So two of pentacles about Queen of Cups energy. So, you know, this could be you coming into your emotions, you know, out of that 
um, sword energy or balancing out your logic with your emotions and having to make that choice using head and heart okay so there will be a choice to be made and we've got a time to go so it's the time to move forward you know leave the past behind move forward in your life in whatever way that is for you wow exactly wheel of fortune so yes the karmic wheel is turning we had the death card and now we've got the wheel of fortune so the wheel is turning in your favor things are going to be moving forward there's you're going to get unstuck you're coming out of this period of stagnation and we've got mending energy here so something's going to get mended in your life wow and we have the empress energy so we have the emperor and the empress so this could be for some of you counterpart energy that you are going to mend this situation between you and it'll be different for all of you and come together to mend this connection in some way and maybe for some of you regenerate this connection you know really maybe re rebuild something so what else what's this regeneration about we have eight of pentacles so that is that working to build something solid and i feel that you're there is gonna you're both gonna want to put the effort in i feel to build up this connection to put the work in wow and then we have the two of cups energy there so you know you are both wanting to exchange your cup of love with each other there okay i'm feeling so let's move on let's get some other messages so this is my oracle of the star child um so i wanted to get some like spiritual messages so we've got connect with your guides, your angels or galactic team for support and guidance at this time. Okay, so call on them. They can't intervene. They need your permission. Open up to who you truly are. Have you lived other lives and other planets, other dimensions? Have your natal chart interpretive. Have a past life regression. Connect with your guides to find the answers. There are many other types of star seed that may resonate for you do your own research so you know some of you you could have been star seeds or are star seeds or have had lives on other planets so you know look into who you truly are and star seeds are here to assist and participate in the evolution of humanity at this time so here to raise the, the consciousness here to raise the vibration of the people and the planet so it's a beautiful thing and go within for the answers you see, connect your intuition, your higher self, healing ancestral patterns, negative thoughts, feelings and behaviours. So getting out of negative cycles and really, you know, if you find out who you truly are, what is your history, what is your soul um, history, your soul lessons, it can really help you move forward. So then I've got some love messages. So we've got, wow, the very first message is marry me. So... You know, we already had that with the Tarot, the Two of Cups energy. So this could be a commitment that you're wanting to get into with each other. And you want to explore each other's mind, body and soul. And be in that energy of sweet surrender with each other. And this love is making you fly high, basically, this connection. And you want a magic of a new dawn. We saw that, a new beginning. And yes, the cauldron of love, the cup of love. You, you both have those feelings. But, you know, after this, you may need some time out to rest and recharge. But we saw that. I feel you've had that. You know, you had that separation period for both of you to do that work on yourselves. And ancestors guidance. So, again, tap into that, you know, connect with your guides. And, again, just marriage, a honeymoon holiday. So, for some of you, this reconnection could lead to a commitment. For some of you, it could be somebody that you haven't met yet okay that's coming in for some of you that that's going to want this commitment but it could lead to this marriage and a honeymoon or just a holiday for some of you some final guidance be bold and make the first move and bring love into the situation new moon aquarius which is what we're going to be in the new moon in aquarius so that is very significant i feel this could be destiny here destined like divine timing for some of you so finally my unicorn magic messages achievement success go for it yeah so the messages go for it and dance and sing like no one is watching so you know help to raise your own vibration by being in that beautiful energy so there your messages part one thank you so much love and blessings hello part two so what is this new moon energy bringing in for you 
So this is the Moon Goddess or Oracle. We have Patience, the Void, Beauty, Sovereignty, Growth, Boundaries, Hunger, Self Love, Focus, Balance, Attraction and fruition so let's just clarify these so got patience here so i feel that a lot of you have had to be very patient in your life um, maybe things haven't happened as quickly as you'd like for you with regard to work love um, family whatever that is for you what's the patience about We've got two of swords so there's indecision here as well i feel you've had some indecision about how to move forward and we've got the void so this could be you connecting going within connecting to your intuition your higher self or feeling just confused and, and not knowing you know that not knowing in that void not having the answers so what is the void there forward there you've got six of pentacles energy so i feel that you needed to come into balance within yourself okay you were out of balance and i feel that you've done that you've you've been working on yourself here and we've got that beauty i feel that you're really in touch with yourself your feminine side you're really seeing your true beauty you know, you're appreciating yourself, you're in that energy of self-worth, self-love. So beauty about. We have eight of swords. You could be very much up in your head though. You could still be very much stuck in your head. Again, not moving forward. You know, going over and over things in your head. So what is that here? We've got devil energy. So yeah, there could be obsessive thoughts here and overthinking things situation rather than moving forward but we've got that sovereign energy and we've got the seven of cups so i feel that you've been working hard here and you know you're feeling confused there's still this confusion here so why is the seven of cups there three of wands so again there's that waiting energy it's, it's like you're feeling you're you're waiting for something to happen here you're confused, you're not sure which way to go forward, you're confused, so you're waiting, but you're waiting patiently, we have patience, and we've got the sovereign energy, you're in your power, you're standing in your power, why is sovereign there? Wow, we've got the world card, so I feel that you realise that you're coming out of a cycle and you're coming into a new beginning, so you are waiting for this new beginning. And then we've got the growth card there. So there's going to be growth, okay, in your life. Movement forward, growth coming in here. By you not taking any action because you didn't know what to take, you just waited patiently for things to change with that world energy. We've got Seven of Swords. So again, you know... You could be in that self-defeating energy, self-deceiving energy, again, not feeling clear about what's happening. A lot of confusion here. Seven of Swords are out. We've got the Death card again. So again, it's, it's transformation. You've definitely been going through a transformation here. And you're coming into the light. We've got the butterflies in that card there. So you're coming into the light. You're you're seeing where you need to go next. And we've got boundaries here. So I feel that you are putting in place these boundaries now. You're having boundaries in your life. Maybe you didn't have them before with other people in your life. Maybe you just were overgiving and you know it took away all your energy. And that's why you retreated and you had this time out. We've got Nine of Cups energy. So this has given you time to realise what it is that you want for yourself. You know, what is it that you're loving about yourself? What is it that you want in your life? By having those boundaries in place to clear that energy away. And you're hungering for something here. 
and we've got the strength energy to clarify that i feel you've really come into your own you've really gained an emotional and spiritual strength here and yes you're in that beautiful energy of self-love and we have king of wands energy here so some of you could be uh, fire signs aries leo sagittarius or this could be somebody that you know that you're connecting with that fire energy but that is somebody who is normally in their power you know they're passionate they're driven they're action orientated and i feel that could be you and you're focusing on what it is you truly want for yourself you're focusing on your desires what you're trying to manifest for yourself you're really focused right now on what it is that you want for yourself wow we have knight of cups energy so that's water sign energy so you could be wanting some romance in your life and again some of you could be connecting to a water sign pisces cancer scorpio this could be you in that energy you're wanting romance you're wanting an offer of romance and you've come into balance here and we saw that before you was out of balance and you came into balance and we've got eight of pentacles energy so you've been working hard here you've been focusing on your goals and to build that financial stability and we've got attraction here i feel you're attracting a lot of attention we've got that ace of cups that self-love energy and you could be attracting new love in okay for some of you with that ace of cups energy and we've got fruition so something's coming to fruition okay there's going to be some sort of new beginning here what's this about wow ten of cups so for a lot of you there could be a loving relationship i mean with venus going forward okay things are going to be you know hotting up in the love department for a lot of people so there is this loving connection here for some of you coming in beautiful so let's get your other messages so this is my star oracle of the star child deck so we have this stellar gateway this is the 12th chakra 12 inches above your head the gateway to source a channel of feeling communication to other worlds beyond the physical so when we come into the 5d there are 12 chakras at the moment we're in that 3d energy we have seven chakras and i am going to be making a deck about this to explain the 12 chakras so some of you could be very spiritually aware awake and you could be already using this stellar gateway chakra or it's making you aware and we have blue blue ray star seeds, highly sensitive, empathetic, come from a variety of ascended planets to set the stage for other star seeds to come to the planet. So, you know, I don't know if you've ever read any of Dolores Cannon's books, but they're amazing and I would recommend them. But she talks about the third the three waves, and I think the blue ray were like the first wave of star seeds that came to this planet, okay? And again, you can find out more information online about that. And play, make time to play, have fun, have a laugh, giggle, be childlike. This will help you shine and raise your vibration. It's really needed right now, that higher vibration. And we've got the new age of light, 5D and beyond. So again, it's talking about the 5D. You know, people are awakening, the consciousness is rising, the planet is rising. So you could be part of this movement. And you came from the stars. So yes, you may not know or, or resonate with that but some of you could be star seeds and again you can find out more by checking out your natal chart so let's get your love messages so we've got childhood crush so some of you could have known somebody from childhood and true love you know we saw that with the ace of cups and the ten of cups the magic of love there's something magical um coming in and we've got the death card again, um, endings followed by new beginnings. So there's definitely a transformation here in your love life. Yeah, magical blessings coming in for you. And this is soulmate energy for some of you. So this this is your soulmate that's coming in. Absolutely beautiful. So final messages. A time for healing. Yeah, I feel you've done a lot of work on your healing and conclusions that we've been reached. So yeah, you've done that work on your healing and your life is about to move in a different direction so let's look at your unicorn magic messages dare to dream dream big so yeah i mean without a dream how can you have your dreams come true so dream big you deserve the best and take the lead in your own life yeah take the lead what is it that you want to achieve for yourself take the lead 
you are the leader in your own life. So sending you lots of love and blessings, part two. Thank you for watching. Hello, part three. So we're looking at the new moon energies on the 1st of February. How's that going to affect you? So you chose the seven energies oracle. So we have a merry motive. Time machine. Opening to discovery. Endless possibilities. Quiet in the mind. Let it go. Wish upon a star. The uncharted sea. Great and full, exposed and revealed, and sacred reverence. So we're going to clarify these with the tarot. So we've got a merry motive there. So to me, that's talking about like positive expectations. Somebody's got good intentions. So this could be you or somebody you know. Somebody's got very good intentions. So what is this about, merry motive? Is this is about merry motive. We have Eight of Cups energy there. So that's that walking away energy. And then we have the Page of Coins energy. So I feel you could have walked away from something that wasn't really fulfilling you, wasn't giving you what you wanted, because you wanted something solid with that, solid with that Page of Coins energy. You wanted something solid, and maybe that wasn't an offer for you. And we've got time machines. Sometimes we all, you know, we would like a time machine to go back, wouldn't we, and change things maybe. And we have the transformation, the death card. So an end of a cycle and a new beginning. So, you know, things are changing for you here. And we've got opening to discovery. So you're opening up to new things in your life. Okay, maybe you've been doing research or learning new things or opening up spiritually, opening up to who you truly are. Because we've got lots of stars there, so you could be a star seed or resonate with that energy. Opening to discovery about something. What's this about? We've got the nine of wands, so that's like that wounded warrior. I feel you've been through a lot, so you've gone within, okay, to really seek out the truth, to seek out the answers of who you are. So what's this discovery about? We've got temperance energy so you've really balanced out your energies you've done that work on yourself you've really balanced out your energies you know this could be your masculine feminine your dark your light your positive your negative so you've done a lot of work on yourself to balance yourself out to stop being out of balance and we've got endless possibilities energy there so what's that about so you could be feeling that way you could be feeling optimistic and positive that there's Endless possibilities for you in life, moving forward. So what's that about? Well, we've got the Ace of Coins energy there. So yes, new beginnings. You want a fresh start in your life, a new beginning. You realise that anything is possible, okay? And we've got quiet in the mind. So you could have been going within to meditate here. We've got the Nine of Swords energy, so I feel that you've been really feeling anguished or anxious or depressed or upset, okay? Your mind has been in overdrive with that Nine of Swords and you're working on quieting your mind. I feel you've been working on that, like meditating or listening to calming, relaxing music, you know, doing yoga or Tai Chi, whatever works for you, doing something. Yeah, I've got two of swords. So there could have been a decision for you to make and you, you were undecided. You had a decision to make. And, you know, the only way to decide is to quiet your mind. And we have let it go here. So what is it that you needed to let go? You know, this could be, the, you know, when you walked away from something, you know, you had to let that go. And it could have been a person, okay, that you had to let go. Because we've got the green of the heart chakra there and there is a heart. So somebody that you, you love, maybe you had to let that go. We've got the hangman energy there. So you, you had to let it go. You had to look at things from a new perspective. Okay. And maybe see things from their point of view as well. And we've got Wish Upon a Star. So another um, 
reference to stars. Okay, so some of you could be star saints. So what's this wish upon a star here? Yeah. You know, you're wanting your wishes fulfilled. You're, you're manifesting your desires, I feel. You're, you're wanting to manifest something here. We've got the High Priestess. Beautiful energy. So you're really in touch with your intuition, your higher self. You're going within. You're really connected to what it is that you're trying to work on and manifest. And we've got Uncharted Sea here. So yes, you could be moving forward into Uncharted Sea, you know, going forward into new experiences, new places that you've never been before. You know, for some of you, maybe it's going to involve a move of home or something, or a move of job, or even a move of country. For some of you, what's this about? We've got Knight of Cups energy here. So this is that water sign energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this could be new romance, okay? This could be with somebody completely new because it says Uncharted Sea. It could be completely new. This could be you really diving into your emotions. And look at this card. Always reminds me of the Ace of Cups. Great and full. It looks like the Ace of Cups. So it could be a new beginning in love. For some of you here. I mean, February is a very romantic month. We have Valentine's Day, which I know a lot of people say is very commercial, but it's still romantic. You know, it's still romantic to give each other a card. Obviously, it doesn't have to be on that day or, or flowers or chocolates and go out for a romantic meal. It's always nice to do those things together when you're with somebody. Wow, we have King of Wands energy. So some of you could be connecting with a fire sign. For some of you, it could be a water sign here. Or this could be one person who's passionate and loving, okay? this He's got the elements that you want in a partner. And we've got the number seven there, so that could be significant for some of you. Maybe it's even the date in February, the 7th of February, for some of you, that you're going to meet this person. And we've got exposed and revealed. So what's that about? So maybe something could come to light here. And this could be about your previous person, maybe. Or this is something that's exposed and revealed to you about your own self, about your own, you know, um, where you're from, your soul, soul records. And we have magician energy. So I feel that you are tapping into that magic, you know, of the universe. You're manifesting. You are a powerful manifester. You have all that you need to manifest your heart's desires here with these energies. And we've got sacred reverence. And look at that. We've got a beautiful heart and two hands with a key. So, I've, again, the star seed energy, the stars energy in that card. So, very much a divine connection, I feel. A divine partnership of love coming in. So, what's this amount? Sacred. It's a sacred connection. Okay, it could be destiny. Sacred connection, past lives connection. Wow. I mean, you can't you can't make it up, can you? Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups energy. Brand new beginning in love. Brand new beginning in love. Anything else? So these readings have turned out to be romantic. <laughs> you never know. You never know what's going to happen. Anything else? Where's the Ace of Cups here? Anything else about that? We have Queen of Wands energy. So we have got the King and Queen of Wands here. So a counterpart energy. Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're both passionate. You're both attractive people. And you're driven people. And even if you're not fire signs, your your energies match. You're, you're both in that energy of self-love. And you're radiating that out. And you're attracting each other into each other's energy. So let's move on from that. So <clears throat> this is my Star Trek Oracle. So we've got Alpha Centaurians. From Alpha Centauri star system closest to us, an advanced civilization seeded some of their souls here on Earth to assist in our development. A daydreamer, quiet, may work in sciences. So some of you could be from that star system. You know, that, that could resonate for you. Holistic, you prefer natural holistic remedies 
for health issues, but you have an appreciation for the sciences. So again, that ties in with that. So you could have, you know, a lot of scientific knowledge, but you prefer to use holistic methods for healing. And we have crystal children, offspring of indigos, born from the late 1980s, highly telepathic, love nature, are forgiving, sensitive and have bright auras. So some of you could be crystal children here. And again, you can find out more online. Or you are indigos that have children, these special crystal children. And <clears throat> they're beautiful, beautiful energies. And we've got warrior spirit. You are here to help make changes, to be fearless, determined to speak your truth. So step into that warrior spirit. You know, speak, be in your sovereign energy. Be your authentic self, okay? Be fearless. Be in the energy of love. So let's get the love messages. So keep the fire burning. So yeah, there's passion here. You are worthy of all good. So it's been in that energy of self-love, as I said. And we've got sensual love magic here. So there is a beautiful sensual love coming in. And it could feel like an obsession because it's so intense, I feel. And you're going to get to know each other. You really are. And you're going to enjoy that flirty time, some sexy talk together. And, you know, this looks like a proposal for some of you, okay? Baby, be mine. So, you know, there could be a, a proposal, a commitment coming up for some of you. Not necessarily in the next few weeks, but in the future. But you never know. And we've got some enchanted evenings. So, again, we've got that Valentine's Day coming up. Some of you could be going out for a beautiful meal or being taken somewhere very special for a very special evening. Okay, so let's get your final guidance. So we've got adjustments are required. So this could be in your own energy and a fiery climax approach is forming in Aries. So we saw that. So Aries season could be significant for those of you. We had the fire sign energies and it's not that far away. Um, March, April time, okay, that this could be, you know, when you meet this person. And your final unicorn message is, manifest your dreams, what do you want for yourself? So we saw that magician energy, you are very powerful. So what's your th thoughts, words and actions? Because you're manifesting and call on your angels and guides to help you, to assist you at this time. And I feel they're very much around you to guide you together with your counterpart in um you know, person at this time. So sending you lots of love and blessings. Take care. Bye for now.